And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. The Beneteau Oceanus 38 at a glance. This is an award-winning vessel that has won numerous awards and was the talk of the town in 2014 when she was debuted at the Annapolis Yacht Show. The Oceanus 38 had a fairly small production run from 2013 to 2017. She comes in with a length of the waterline of 35.17, a length overall of 37.73, and a beam of 13.09 feet. She has a fuel tankage of 34 gallons as well as a water tankage of 34 gallons. The hull is molded in polyester, but Beneteau goes a step further and they bond a hull liner in at the beginning of the assembly process. This increases the vessel's stiffness and therefore allows you to have a removable bulkhead, which makes this vessel the most customizable sailing vessel in this price range. Now, just like its smaller sister ship, the Oceanus 35, Beneteau offers this in three different versions. The Day Sailor, the Weekender, and the Cruiser. Now, most of the differences are in the interior. However, there are some variables on deck as well. Specifically speaking, the Weekender and the Cruiser come standard with the main sheet arch over the cockpit, as well as a drop down leaf cockpit table. As previously mentioned, the vessel is incredibly customizable. Number one, we have an optional aft platform. You get a choice of an open cockpit or a tilting swim platform. We also have the optional mainsail arch. The arch option receives the mainsail traveler track and frees up the cockpit. She comes with three different draft versions. You have the deep draft at 6.10 feet, the shallow draft at 4.9 feet, and the lifting keel version that goes from 3.9 feet to 7.7 .7 feet. Now, when it comes to the interior of the Beneteau Oceanus 38, it is completely modular. As you can see here, there is a completely removable bulk head, as well as the furniture can be changed around throughout the lifespan of the vessel. That means if you buy a version and you decide later that you want to change some things around, you can still purchase additional things to improve the interior of your vessel, as well as change the layout to a certain degree. Now, this makes this, again, one of the most customizable vessels I have probably ever seen in my entire sailing career. This is truly a vessel that you can grow into versus out of. However, with the Day Sailor version, it is not nearly as customizable as the other two. The Day Sailor actually doesn't even come with plumbing as it's meant to be just a true Day Sailor. So if you do purchase this vessel and plan to make it your long-term cruising vessel, you will want to go with the Weekender or the Cruiser vessel so that you can take advantage of the many upgrades and layout changes you can do throughout the life of the vessel. These currently can be had on the used market coming in at $126,000 and going up from there. So it is a very expensive vessel, there is no doubt. However, it's truly a vessel you can grow into versus out of over time and it can change with your needs as your needs change. Speaking of cost, one of the best ways to save money when getting into the world of sailing is to become an American Sailing Association member. I do have a discount code linked below. The membership is valid for one year and you get access to dozens and dozens of other discounts all related to sailing, including discounts on sales, CETO, and a variety of other things. I would suggest becoming an ASA member as soon as possible. It is a CEA rated vessel. That means it is more than capable of crossing oceans and it is a proven ocean crossing vessel as hundreds and hundreds of people have crossed oceans on this exact vessel. Now, if there is a vessel you'd like me to feature on at a quick glance, just let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to do one specifically for you, no problem. Also in the comments below, let me know what you think of this vessel. Do you like the IKEA looking vessels? I sure do, but I know a lot of people absolutely hate them. 
Now, if you do need help getting on the water or narrowing down your boat purchase, or you just need some information and some help, consider heading on over to my website at chasinglatitudes.com. Over there, right on the homepage, you will see producer. Become a producer on the channel. With becoming a producer, you do get a one-on-one -on -one consult with me to discuss everything sailing related that you would need to, as well as you do get a year's access to our members area. Now, the members area is a fantastic place for information. We have hundreds of members over there all in various stages of starting sailing some have just purchased boats some are taking asa classes and so on it is a wealth of information and it's not a public forum it's a private members area so there's no harassment there's no bullying there's no judgment over there it's just a great place for information to help you get on the water sooner than later if you would like to, you can also just send me $100 directly through PayPal. The link is in the description below for that as well. Now, if that's a little bit too much for the bank account, I completely understand. However, consider joining Patreon. For only $10 a month, you do get access again to the members area, which is a fantastic place for information to help you get on the water sooner than later. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a comment down below. Like, share, all that good stuff. Make it go viral. I don't know. Do something. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so, so much for joining.